Warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game. It's Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. He's got through, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. They've scored! Red. Sit well. Aimed long and direct. He's gone for goal! And he's dead. Looks to slip it through. Dumps it into the area. Good movement there, but not worse. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Out to the flank. Hit into the middle. And in it goes! And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're... Every single player is giving everything. It's come loose. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Tosses it through. And through to the goalkeeper. Diego Capel. Out to the left it goes. Goes for the cross. And the referee brings the first half to a close. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that scoreline. I just hope the second half is as good as the first. It's been pulsating stuff. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. Looks to slip it through. Oh, real chance! Good decision by the keeper. Got that exactly right. Goes long and forward. Maori boots it upfield. Played into the middle. Well blocked, and back out it comes. With a delicate ball. Looking to shoot! Sticks it away! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! Well, when well, we the don't game... need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. It's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's... He scores! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, he was never going to... Here's the ball in. Clears it out of harm's way. He's done very well to get to that. And what a climax! Napoli need to hold on for a few more moments. Mohamed Salah. Gurkan Gurul. So that's it. It is all over. Napoli have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. Your reflections then, Jim. Look, we saw some textbook football from wide areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the wide areas. And, you know, it was a real risk and reward approach that gave them the crucial advantage. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Cologne against Napoli. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game. It's Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Sit well. Cologne, whose manager was the brains behind the last win. 
I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top and he tweaked the system to sort it out. And what I like is that he doesn't hold back. He's got that who dares wins mentality and he really goes for delicate it. Delicate ball. He's had a go! Good effort first. Goes for the cross. Brave effort, total commitment. And he attacked that ball with real conviction. Just such a pity about the end result. Lops it in gently. Struck first time. He's done very well to get forward. There. Looks like a good ball through. Passes it through, up to meet it! It's anyone's ball! Oh, great save, real class! Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare. Great leap! Try. Tries a through ball, chance! And the cutback... Goes for goal! It's come loose. Great reaction. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Parker. Looks to slip it through. Capel! Goes long and forward. Will be the final action of the first half. So we reach the halfway point. Napoli ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment. Here's the ball in. And he's there to hoof it away. Suchi. It's a long forward pass. Shamak. Crosses in a low one. Well, I think it's about time we've we've seen something different. And they've they've looked to play that longer ball, you know, over the top, down through the middle, and mix their game up a bit more. I think they may just get someone in behind that defense now. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Here comes another cross. Passes it through. Gets into some space. Looks to dink one in. Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, what can you say about that? It's difficult to know whether to criticise or, or sympathise. I'll favour the latter, because we've all done it. You take your eye off the ball, and everyone feels let down. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Tries a through ball. Now it's Robbie Keane. Thrust towards the front line. It's a corner kick. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right weight of pass, it only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Robbie Keane desperately wants to get on the end of this. It's Robbie Keane, oh they could break here. In truth, he was probably a tad selfish then, there were more options about. Robbie Keane. Dashing forward at pace. And that is it, the referee has seen enough.
Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. It's goals. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? I think they'll be a little irked by the fact that they had control for good periods of the game and didn't do enough to turn that control into victory. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us.